You're watching Gamescom Studio right here on IGN. Adam Fall is the upcoming survival action game set in Northern England several years after a nuclear disaster. Here to tell me how it all comes together is Ben Fisher, Associate Head of Design at Rebellion. Welcome. How are you doing? Let's talk about some Adam Fall. I believe this was uh, revealed earlier uh, in the summer, and now you've got a new gameplay trailer out here for Gamescom. This is a first-person action RPG. Tell us about this game. Okay, so um, like you say, it's a survival action game set in a 1950s north of England mm -hmm. in a post-apocalyptic quarantine zone mm -hmm. around the world's first major nuclear disaster in the Windscale plant. So it's an alternate history right. where we've taken a real-world event as an inspiration um, and then built a new world around that in the style of 1950s storytelling, 1950s speculative fiction. Mm -hmm. If you think of something like classic Doctor Who okay. or the Quatermass experiment, very early TV sci-fi, um, we've used those as reference points and inspiration and then built a game world that um, really we started with the game world itself and then the mechanics of the game kind of emerged from the setting. Interesting. So post-apocalyptic, but we still see people, you know, living together in a society. It doesn't seem like it's not like uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome yet. Sure. It's so like what, what's sure. the sort of scenario and the setting here? Well, that felt kind of British post-war. You know, if you take the setting seriously and you think, how would people actually try and live in this situation? It would still be lush and green, but it's a green and unpleasant land. So people are trapped in, say, this quarantine zone and trying to get by, trying to survive. Um, as we know from uh, COVID times, people try and just live the best life they can in the situation they find themselves. So it's a real kind of keep calm and carry on mindset. But at the same time, the disaster that's trapped the people in this location is having a sort of an interesting influence on them. So everyone's, uh, their way of looking at the world is kind of exaggerating and changing a little bit. So they're grouping into these uh, factions um, to try and survive. As you explore the game, you don't fit into any one of these factions and you have to decide which ones you trust, um, which ones you think you should align yourself with. Some of them will tell you that they have a way of getting out of the quarantine zone if you help them uncover the mysteries in the Windscale plan. And it's entirely up to you who you trust or don't trust. And who are we? Who are we playing at? What's our character? Ah, that's part of the mystery. Yeah. So at the very, very start of the game, you wake up in a quarantine bunker um, with no idea of who you are. And when you look at the player's body, you've got gloves on, you've got sort of hiking gear. There's no signifiers of age, race, or gender. Um, one of the reasons for that is that players can project themselves into the game. Mm. Um, one of the reasons is we want that to be part of the mystery. Uh, in the sort of classic storytelling style, you set up a lot of mysteries, but don't necessarily fully resolve all of them. So at the same time, when you start playing the game, there's a, a red phone box, and as you walk past, it starts to ring, and you hear a voice talk to you. That's another one of the kind of mysteries in the game that we might not fully explain for you, but there are clues in the game to uh, let you come to your own conclusion. And then moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, uh, we see, we've seen some combat here. Are you also taking on missions, quests for individuals? Yeah. Well, this is one of the most interesting parts of Atom Fall is we wanted to give you a way of deciding who you were in the game world. And we found early in development that if we gave you a specific backstory that told you who you were and it told you who your relationship was to other people, that's part of the reason that you're a mystery character. And during development, a new mechanic emerged. We don't have quests, we've got leads. Okay. Um, and as you explore the game world, you might find leads um, by talking to people, you might find them buried in a metal detector box that somebody's right, hidden right. under the ground, and you choose which leads to follow, and you choose what leads to piece together. Um, and as you explore, you find that most of the leads interconnect into this larger mystery. So no matter where you start, and no matter what story you get involved with, it all pieces together into one giant story. So there's no good guys and bad guys. There's no specific quests. Mm. There's just leads as you try and uncover what's happened. Interesting. And in terms of combat, are, are, we just, are we just a regular human or are there any sort of extra you know, abilities that you unlock through a skill tree or something like that? Sure. What we wanted to do is give you the sense of um, desperately trying to survive in this brutal landscape. So um, we blend melee and ranged combat for the duration of the game. So you're, you'll be firing guns, sure, but the ammo is scarce right. and the guns are in bad condition because they've been in the rain for five years. Um, and so we wanted it to feel more like a pub brawl than a war zone. Yeah. So a lot of the time you'll be kicking enemies to knock them back or throwing a fire axe at them that'll stick in them if you've got the right skill. 
um, and mixing in a couple of bullets at the same time. And we've got um, options to avoid combat entirely. So yeah. if you've got a gun and they don't, you can point it at them and they'll back off. Mm. Or you get a lot of notice before they actually get into a fight. Um, there's a threat system in the game where, depending on how close you are, depending on how threatening your behavior is, whether you've got a gun out, um, you'll escalate to combat quicker or you may be able to avoid it entirely. Um, one of the things we've done in the game is we've made sure that you could kill everyone. Oh my gosh. Or you could kill no one nice. and That's still good. find the way to the end of the game. Rebellion is well known for the Sniper Elite series. Is there any Sniper Elite DNA in Atomfall? Absolutely. So that's interesting as well because there are definitely elements of Sniper Elite in there and there were times where we had to resist that DNA. Um, so the elements that are there um, is that Rebellion values giving the player an objective and then sandbox freedom on how to achieve it. As you explore, you find different methods to achieve that objective. Um, and once you've achieved it, you find an exfil point, you find a way of escaping a location. And each mission in Sniper Elite is that structure. For Atomfall, we decided to attempt an experiment. What happens if you apply that template to an entire game? Mm. Um, so that's where Sniper Elite became an influence, that sense of structured freedom. Um, where we had to resist that was um, when we were placing enemies, it became very easy to accidentally make kind of stealth combat puzzles. Because in, in Sniper Elite, that's the, that's the encounter, right? right? right Each right. encounter is like a puzzle. <clears throat> um, but we wanted it to feel a bit more unpredictable and a bit more desperate. So enemy positioning is slightly randomized, slightly procedural, changes over the course of the game. And you travel back and forth through multiple densely packed sandboxes. So your play experience will change over time as well. Can you briefly address, there, there, I think there are survival and crafting elements, is that right? Yes, there are, yeah. Um, so, like I say, we want to make sure that the player always feels that they're desperately attempting to survive. So they're scavenging for materials and they can craft things to help them heal, help them resist different kinds of damage, um, and like throwable uh, grenades, molotovs, those sorts of things. Um, and their backpack is quite limited as well, and the resources are scarce. Mm -hmm. So the game is balanced so that you have to use all of those resources to try and survive. Very cool. So Adam Falls coming next March, I believe, 2025, to a lot of consoles, uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X and S, PC, and it's coming to Game Pass. Yes, Game one. Pass Day Very One. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming by the IGN stage. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we have lots more games come ahead right here on IGN, so stick around.